Welcome back to Hoochos. Today on Hoochos, I'm gonna be releasing a brand new 3D printable hydroponic design. That design is the Hooch Halo. The Hooch Halo is a top watering ring system that you can 3D print at home for cents on the dollar to use throughout your hydroponic ecosystem. So the Hooch Halo is actually designed to work above any recirculating system. It doesn't even need to be recirculating if you are draining to waste. So this can be used to feed uh, plants where you're actually feeding fresh nutrient and not recirculating it. So the way that I've designed this Hooch Halo is to work with a standard 13 millimeter or 12 millimeter hose fitting. So just your standard PVC garden hose and it will fit onto the garden hose like so. So that will just slide on like that and we have a really nice top watering ring. Now, <laughs> I have not had my print settings perfect for this ring. So you can see that there are some holes where I did not mean them to mean there to be holes, but because of the design of this system, this will always be above media that you're trying to water and it really doesn't matter if it leaks. So that is the beauty of this system. And I also haven't actually sealed in this connection, but once I do seal this in with silicon, this piece will become watertight. And if you do get your print settings perfect, you won't have these horizontal lines of water coming out. You'll just have the water focused on and around the root ball. So this is obviously made to go over the top of the plant and allow for watering around the entire root ball of that plant. And this is just a really good way of making sure that you're reaching all of the roots and not just watering in one specific point above or beside the plant. One of the reasons I did want to do a 3D print of these because there are already many options available uh, at hydroponic stores and on the internet where you can purchase these items which are hydro halos. And the reason that I called this a hooch halo is because I couldn't resist. And if you really want, you can call it a hydro halo if you like. This is heavily inspired by the hydro halos, but I looked everywhere for a patent that I was infringing on and I could not find it. And the reason this probably is, is because it's such a universal method of watering your plants in a ring around that almost every hydroponic shop has a different version of an irrigation ring with multiple points of watering. So this really isn't a patentable device. And one of the reasons why I wanted to provide a stable 3D print of this device is because these can cost upwards of $25 a piece, and that's just not feasible for a large scale, like 10 or more plants hydroponic system. We'll talk about costs a bit later because these are cents on the dollar compared to $25 each for the hydro halos. And it does make sense once you get into those larger systems, when you're doing 10 or 20 plants and recirculating the water, such as systems like Dutch bucket hydroponics, where you can have the hydro halo pressed into and around the base of the plant and the grow media, which will give a better coverage of the roots than just a couple of these smaller pipes feeding. Or systems using cocoa or another grow medium that are drained to waste. So this is actually a wicking hydroponic system, but if this were a drain to waste hydroponic system, all you'd have to do is put in your hooch halo, like so, and it would allow you to top feed your plants in an even and consistent way around the base of the stem, which gives you complete coverage of the grow media. But the media that I'm most excited to use this top feeding ring on is the Grodan Rockwool Delta Blocks. Now, the way that this works is it just pushes directly into the blocks and will water the entire top of the Grodan block. So I can maintain moisture across the entire surface of the grow down block, which allows me to ensure that the entire block is evenly watered. And that is going to allow me to consistently water the top of any grow cube size, whether it's one of our $5 Cultiline grow slabs or our fairly expensive 
classic slabs. We can cut a hole and water around the base of any plant that we have within any of these systems and disperse that nutrient in a consistent way. And it will also allow us to use similar slabs of cocoa core or any other grow media that is packaged in such a way. And it'll allow us to do it in a budget friendly manner. Okay, so as usual, this file will be available on my Patreon. It has been available for about a month to pre-release patrons, which is my second tier, but it now becomes available to all patrons as of the making of this video. So the way that I've designed this file is so that you can have two of the file laid out on the bed and printed at the same time. It comes in two pieces, so one of the legs, one of the hooch halos, but you'll also need the 13 millimeter connections that we use on all of our 3D printable designs. So that can be found in the RGSS systems. So the way that it's been designed is so that you can fit either one whole set on a bed and print one set at a time, or you can bulk print the halos on their own and then print all the little bits afterwards. So for instance, if I wanted to print the hooch halo, we would take the halo and we will split it into parts, which is through mesh tools, which is a free add-on available in the marketplace. So we split that into parts. We will then delete the leg. Now we're going to multiply our model by one. And that will allow us to fit two on the one print bed. So all we have to do is rotate it 180 degrees like that and we can shuffle these two models so that they fit like so and if we have a look from the top you can see that both of our hooch halos will print so you can batch print like this and have multiple hooch halos on the one print bed or you can print your hooch halo in a single form. We'll split these models, split model into parts. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna multiply your legs. So an extra two of those. And we're also going to want to use one of our 13 millimeter barbs for the connection to the 13 millimeter hose. So. We'll take that from our 100 millimeter round pipe end pieces. We'll split the model into parts. We'll delete what we don't need. And now we can just move this into a location that, that we want. And we can use our arrange all models like so to get the best print layout. And now we have a complete hooch halo to print. Now for the print settings, I'm going to use a layer height of 0.32 millimeters and a line width of 0.8 millimeters. Now this is because I'm using a 0.8 millimeter nozzle for my printer. Now, if you're using a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, I would recommend uh, halving that layer height and halving the line width, obviously. So the wall thickness is 2.4 and we have all of our settings here. The infill density is gonna be 100% and we are not going to have any build plate adhesion. Now, if you find that you're having trouble getting your prints right, I would highly recommend just printing the halo part and then printing all of your little bits and pieces separately because this 13 millimeter barb is probably going to need build adhesion, uh, build plate adhesion, and I'd suggest doing a brim adhesion for that one because it is a very small surface area touching that build plate. So you may need to print that 13 millimeter bar with a brim, but with all the other stuff, you don't really want a brim because you don't want to be cutting off bits and pieces. And because the hooch halo is flat on top, uh, it gives a really good adhesion. So you won't need that for the halo part, which is why I designed it so that you can print the halo doubly individually and then you can print all of your other little bits and pieces on a single plate separately. 
I'm also gonna print with no support. I have no idea why I had support on there. So now let's find out what this is gonna cost in filament. So we'll slice that. Okay, so we've got 58 grams of filament for one hooch halo. So if we do some quick maths, that means that each hooch halo is going to cost you, if you're paying $20 a kilogram of filament, $1.16 per piece to produce. So that's actually a really good price, especially considering that these ones cost anywhere from $15 to $25 Australian uh, from online and hydroponic stores. So that's a saving of, well, 250%. <laughs> this is why I wanted to jump into the realm of 3D printing so that I could provide a reasonably priced equipment that is specific to the area that would just be prohibitively expensive to provide in a manner that is traditionally done with injection molding and stuff. I can now happily say that I will fit these out above say a Dutch bucket system of 10 buckets and all I'm spending is $11.60 if they're $1.16 per piece. And that is completely worthwhile in my mind. So I'm stoked to have and now have provided you guys with this 3D printable design. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys can do and implement with this design in your systems. Now, obviously this is going to be available on my Patreon straight away to all Patreons. So if you're already a Patreon, go over there. The post will be up by the time this video is up. And if you're not already, jump over. Uh, this will be available to all Patreons. The lowest tier is $3 and you get access to all of the previous 3D prints as well as this one. And if you want access to upcoming designs, I'm right in the middle of designing a new one to be released to my pre-release Patreons. And that will be available very soon. As soon as I've had time to edit this video, I'll be working on the next design for you guys. If you've made it this far, congratulations. I just want to remind everyone that there are the Reddit and Facebook communities, which are a great source of knowledge and help. I generally cannot get to every single question in the comments, especially when the videos are older. I'll really only focus on the newer videos. I actually do jump in and answer questions on both the Reddit and the Facebook pages, and I'll tend to only concentrate on those. There are just too many forms of communication throughout all of the channel's social media. There are also other community members that have a ton of knowledge that also teach me as well as help others in the communities. So if you wanna be a part of that, just jump through the links in the description onto either the Reddit or the Facebook page. There's also a heap of posts that are really interesting from community members about their hydroponic systems. So if you'd like to share some photos of your own hydroponic systems, I'm really interested to see any of your systems that you've come up with. All right, that's it for today. Happy hydroponicking, and I'll see you next time on Hoochos.